the confession video of Amrit Pal Singh's aides. Now let's listen to what their confession video is all about. So this is an aid of Amrit Pal Singh who of course confesses and this is own record and this is what has been accessed by us. Let us listen in to what he has to say once again, then I am going to go across to Anshu. So we had two aides on Shul who confessed to their crime and they completely contradict a claim on the passing that he was actually helping the youth of Punjab and protecting them from drugs. Uh, well, yes, that was the modus operandi that uh, Amrit Pal Singh was operating with. In fact, he was going from village to village on foot on his vehicles along with his bodyguards who were carrying uh, that, uh, those guns and those swords along with them just to give an aura that he is a very, very big person and he has uh, some divine powers through which he could actually go ahead and heal people. This is what he has done uh, to, in many villages in Punjab and that is why the, that is the reason why we are seeing that a lot of, of uh, there, uh, he has actually garnered a lot of fol uh, followership in many of the villages in Punjab. Not not, more, not uh, much in the towns of Punjab, but yes, especially in the villages of Punjab, especially in that belt uh, near Taran and, uh, and Amritsar, there are several villages in which he has actually garnered a lot of support through his aura that he has been able uh, to, to build because Nihang Sikhs were actually following him uh, with those weapons and with those swords uh, uh, just to give that aura that he is a big deal and he has actually those divine powers. And this is how he actually used to influence the youth of Punjab and actually used to... Uh, uh, actually used to brainwash them that the Indian government is not going to help them, Indian, Indian government is not uh, in any way or any manner going to take them out uh, from this menace of drugs and it is only Amrit Pal Singh through his divine powers that he could uh, make sure that these people are, uh, these people lead a normal life and that is the reason why he has garnered uh, such support and the confessions that we heard right now on CNN News 18 actually, actually are indicative of the fact that how these young young people, young kids who are actually influenced by Amrit Pal Singh and his aura and started uh, started to join his group Varis Pathan Day and started to propel the message that Amrit Pal Singh wanted to, pro, uh, wanted to propel. So yes, all this is being exposed at this point in time because it becomes very, very important uh, for the Punjab police now since they have registered an FIR against him. It becomes really very important for the Punjab police to make an airtight case with all these confessions and other proofs of his involvement in violence and rioting and, and other cases so that an airtight case can be built and if at all he is sent to jail, he is not uh, he is not able to get out from there uh, very very easily. So yes, yeah. all these confessions are going to be very very crucial for the Punjab police once the charge sheet is filed hmm. in front of the court. So we we'll listen to one more such confession which we have accessed and I am going to come back to you. <laughs> so, Anshul, there has been a strong case against Amrit Pal Singh, which has been building up that he is trying to stoke violence. He is also actually disrupting the life in Punjab. Now, when these confessions start coming out, don't you think and do you agree that the difficulty for Amrit Pal Singh and his aides increases in a court of law as well? Well, definitely the difficulties for Amrit Pal Singh is increasing by the minute and uh, 
the the more time that he spends as a fugitive the more strong case the punjab police could also build because he has still not surrendered uh, himself in front of the uh, punjab police because if, if if he would have surrendered then the uh, defense of amritpal singh would have something to say in front of the court that he is not not escaping from uh, from the grasp of the police and probably his bail uh, would have been easier till the time uh, the entire investigation was going on but yes the kind of charges that the punjab police has imposed against him those charges are actually very very serious in nature what we are also being told uh, through the way of unofficial sources uh, is that uh, there uh, the punjab police could also take a decision to impose nsa against him as well but yes that depends on the manner in which uh, uh, the uh, amrit pal singh operates at this point in time on what kind of evidences uh, that does the punjab police ha have been able to collect because remember uh, the punjab police at this point in time has the video evidences of the manner in which the entire violence broke out in ajnala and how amrit pal singh was the person who led that mob and also the facebook post of amrit pal singh where he actually invited his uh, or asked his su supporters to ga gather at ajnala so that he could carry out that violence violence over there so those visuals uh, those videos are with the punjab police that actually incriminate amrit pal singh directly hmm. and also the manner in which amrit pal singh has come on record and spoken to media as well where he, where he has thre threatened of making a khalistan and threatened the indian government okay. and the indian administration in the same <coughs> breath as well so yes all these cases all, all these evidences are actually proving to be a very strong case for amrit pal singh and the manner in which he has escaped definitely makes his case even more weaker okay and you know given the kind of uh, apriti given the kind of uh, confessions that we are getting uh, the fact that this is a very sensitive issue uh, can you just tell us what kind of arrangements really have been made for those aides who have been arrested and put in a dibrugarh jail uh, yes uh, pallavi as already stated there is a huge uh, security deployment made uh, around uh, the central jail of uh, dibrugarh and even in the morning when they were uh, taken to the jail a convoy of 20 cars were seen uh, taking them uh, there were there were four people who were who have been arrested uh, and been taken to the central jail but we could see that uh, the security deployment around the, the central jail is also very much uh, heavy that we could see uh, it's very heavy deployment of security forces and even while they could they made it sure that even while they were being taken to the central jail uh, they uh, make necessary arrangements security arrangements and uh, thus uh, we could see uh, a convoy of 20 cars taking four people to the central jail of Dibrugarh. And even now they have deployed a huge security um, personnel uh, around the, the central jail. And they have stated that uh, they are quite sure that uh, uh, no untoward situation will be happening or they will uh, let it happen in the uh, city of Dibrugarh. So are, you in Assam. Up, are you picking up anything by way of the state government sources as well? I mean, clearly it was Home Minister plus the Punjab's Chief Minister who had discussed the operations. And of course, I guess the Assam Chief Minister, who incidentally is, happens to be in the national capital today. Uh, uh, so so they, they must have been some kind of a strategy meeting with the Chief Minister's office being kept in the loop. Uh, of course, we uh, see it that way because uh, Chief Minister of Assam, Himanta Bisha Sharma, is today in uh, Delhi, New Delhi, in the uh, nation capital. And uh, we could see that uh, um, the people who have been arrested have been brought to the Bruger. And uh, also, when we talk about uh, uh, people like Amrit Pal Singh and his associates, we can see that, uh, uh, that the charges against them are about uh, agitating uh, the people, the general people. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to Assam, we can see how the chief minister has been very influential on to its people, the public basically. So somewhere we can see this uh, idea that uh, the people, uh, they are quite sure that the people of Assam, uh, basically they can rely on them that uh, they won't be much in, uh, they, they won't be into some hesitation uh, uh, for the arrest of the associates and the, uh, the search of Amrit Pal Singh. So maybe they have uh, relied on the Assam government and the chief minister has, has not, although he has not st spoken uh, publicly yet now, he has not uh, stated anything to the media until now. But of course, it is with the efforts of the chief minister and also the Assam police officials uh, in, accord in uh, coordination with the Punjab police, of course, uh, hmm. these uh, arrests, uh, has, the, the people arrested have been brought to Assam. And uh, they have also stated again that uh, there might be more people coming in. So um, it's li like that because the, the chief minister of Assam must uh, be on loop and uh, he is yet to speak publicly on it and he is uh, uh, actually keeping away from speaking on it right now but yeah. yes given the, the sensitivity of, of the situation yeah. kind of situation yeah yeah that's right thank you very much preeti for now and also anshul this of course remains our top story